Okay, I'm going to try my best. Uh, the book of Revelation, um, it talks about one thing, like the beginning, then it goes to the end part, then it goes back to the beginning, the middle, then back to the end, and then back to the beginning. So let me, I'm going to read, uh, let's see, um, Revelation 18, 1 to 4 first. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is falling, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean, hateful bird. For all nations have drunk on the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth had committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her del delicacy. Delicacy. Anyway, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her place. This is um, talking about going partnership, uh, secular, you know, is, is um, being filled with her del delicacies. <laughs> riches um and it says to come out from her like not to leave um you know people say america is gonna get burned okay that may be so but it's not telling you to leave it's saying come out and don't be partakers because i've seen a lot of videos where it says you gotta leave america and you know wherever you go this is going to be worldwide anyway um uh, 18, 16, 14. Um, and, uh, and, and this is what I'm skipping because um, actually Revelation skips. And the people, the, the other countries would say, alas, alas, not at last. Like at last, um, it's about time it happened. It was just saying, that means like, wow, wow, alas, A-L-A-S. Because first of all, they were weeping and wailing over the city. So why would they be happy and rejoice and saying it's about time? which some people still might say it in their mind, but this is not what this is saying. And saying, alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Sounds like the uniform that the, the, woman, the woman was riding. The woman was riding on the beast, which is Satan. So Satan is giving that uh, mystery Babylon, that, that uh, riding on that religion is connected with Satan. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught. Um, then it goes on to saying, And when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And uh, so they, anyway, they were crying and everything. But this is what uh, the heavens said. Rejoice over her, thou heaven and, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God had avenged you on her. Remember in uh, in Revelation 7, where there was a, of the first batch of people who were in heaven already and sin, you know, because there was many saints that died in the past. And uh, when Jesus died um, um, on the cross and went into hell, and when he came back out, he brought the saints that were in. Remember, uh, Jesus was telling a true story about <clears throat> there was a golf fix. You couldn't even cross over it so far away. It was hell and Abraham um, and Lazarus was in um, on the other side and they couldn't cross over. So when Jesus died, he took them out and they went into all the, the uh, ones that were uh, beheaded and eaten by lions and things like that. And see, the reason why I know that when Jesus died on the cross, he didn't say, he didn't tell that um, the that man um th the thief um you know you will be with me uh in paradise um in the resurrection he said uh today that will be with me in paradise so jesus didn't go to the um sleep until that time jesus went joined himself back to the father and to him and to himself and when he went to paradise he is alive and dwelling in heaven. So when he told the um, the thief, today that will be with me in paradise, 
then he was going to paradise where Jesus was. So that man is alive to this day. There is a place. There is a waiting place of your destination. Um, so anyway, those people who said um, that they died in the past, not the ones uh, doing the beast, because the beast, the mark uh, of the beast haven't came yet. They said, oh, Lord, how long uh, will we wait to get our event, revenge? And, he, and then... Um, and, and it was told to them until your your brethren, uh, your fellow servant that died like you have, um, uh, until that happened, then we, you would get your event, event revenge. So in twenty verse twenty, chapter eighteen, it says, "Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her." So what is that? When Babylon fell. Um, I'm skipping around because all this stuff is, is, is skipping around. I mean, okay, I'm going to go to 1917. Uh, and I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourself together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat. Eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bond. Both. So anyway, what was happening is, I'm just going to paraphrase. Um, actually, at that time, the beast was taken and with him, the false prophet who did miracles before him, which deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image these both was cast li live into the lake of fire burning with, uh, with with brimstone they were cast in first the beast they, and people might say well uh it ain't it's not saying that yes it was because um revelation chapter 17 verse 7 through 8 tells you who the beast was and the angel said unto me Wherefore didst thou marvel? Why are you why are you surprised? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carried her, which have the seven heads and ten horns. The beast that thou sawest was, like, and is not like was on the earth, and is not right now, but shall descend out of the bottomless pit and go into prediction, prediction. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is, like yet is to come. It's, it, and, you know, I'm going back and forth. And um, so that's why the book of Revelations is, is, is kind of confusing. Um, uh, because also um, in 17, verse 1, it says, And there came out of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me, saying, until me come here that I will show you the judgment of the great whore. So then it goes and talks about Babylon falling. Then it goes back to say um, in tw verse 21, chapter 21, verse 9. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows full of the seven last plagues and talked with me saying, come hither. I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. So I'm thinking all this happened at one time. I know it sounds confusing. When John was talking about um, the angels showing him Babylon, he also was showing him uh, the great city. But it's way over here. But anyway, this is what I want to say. I drew a little thing <laughs> uh, about the city. It's, it's not going to be... Now, I've seen before the, the temple. Um, they were trying to, trying to draw and say the temple comet descended down. And it had like the whole building, you know, things like that. That's not what it is, because the Bible says there won't be a, a, a um, uh, like a building. Okay, let me show you. Um, that is, oh, 17, okay. Uh, okay. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven and from God. Actually, when this angel still had the seven vows to pour, all right, somebody was calling me. The new Jerusalem was coming down as the angel was 
still doing the vow. So it's it's descent, it's starting to descend. Um Um, and having the glory of God, her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper, okay? And it had a wall, a wall great and high, and had 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels, and names written thereon, call me now. I didn't see this one, first, before I even looked, I did see, like, this temple, like, some time ago, coming down. And then um, today, after I made, I drew what the temple would be like. Um, I I then looked on you know YouTube and I saw where they had the foundations of the colors of the stones on the bottom of the temple. But the Bible says the walls of the city had twelve foundations. So this is what I, I'm trying to do the best I can. Now I, I'm not I can't draw, <laughs> so I actually made it like this. Oh, I hope you can see this. Um, like the inside, these are the, oh, you probably can't even see it good. I mean, anyway, this right here says Peter across here. When the foundations connect, that will say Peter all the way across there, James all the way across, whatever. But it's really going to look like this. And I'm going to show you what I have. <laughs> I found something. I had some candy. It's going to actually, um, it's not going to be like this, because that's not the foundation of the wall. It's going to be like this, all the way across, right? So, let's say, see, this is, real it's going to be so wide, it's going to grow across. Like, this is, Jan this is James going across. Let's say the right is Peter, James, but it's going to be so wide, like, real wide, because this is what the Bible says, that the temple will be, uh, of the walls, a hundred, uh, the, the length of a hundred and forty-four. You remember one hundred forty-four thousand, a hundred and forty-four men laying down. So if I you take a hundred and forty-four men with like five foot eleven or six foot laying down, this says the height of an angel. Um, you know, there's big ones too, but when they if they're laying down and they all the way down to one hundred forty-four, will be way down there. But look. 12 divided by 12 is 144. So 12 lengths of men is going to be the size of the foundation with one apostle, um, one disciple. They had Peter. And the walls going to be so thick, it's going to be so long. But the gate, when it talks about one pearl, the pearl said the, the gate has, it's three gates. So it's either this, a pearl, but I do know it's going to be three gates in one. It's all going to be connected together. And this is the best I did, like an entrance. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Like um, one entrance where you have the name, like say this, I can't see, but let's say it says the tribe of Reuben. That's an entrance for the tribe of Reuben. There's an entrance to the tribe of Benjamin. There's, you know, on each side is three. So how I did it, <laughs> oh, it's going to kind of be like this, but inside it's not going to have a temple. It's going to be empty. But the temple, once you go inside, like see right here, let's say that's the gates. The walls going to be so wide, the gates is way down in here, and it's going on each side is the entrance. And once you get inside the entrance, it's going to be hollow, but it's going to be light which is the temple, which is Jesus. Once you walk in in there, wait, in one of these, it's going to be three right here, three on each side. Then you'll be inside where the temple, it says it doesn't need any light. It doesn't need, <laughs> anyway, that's a wall. And let's say this is connected. This is the yellow is still, um, uh, let's say Peter all the way across there. But anyway, each angle where it has a um, like here will be the gate entrance. It's, it's really crazy. I, can, I can't even do this right on. Uh, anyway, if I can draw, I will show you. But listen, the, what I want to say, the vows, the vows, 
the people that are going to be the, the saints will still be on the earth when the, when the vows are poured that's the wrath but this is not the time when god when jesus come to the earth and fight it's right after that when oh, listen because it says um uh, when the angels pour out okay 16 chapter 6 let me say this real quick and i have to get off 16 7 <clears throat> and i heard another I heard another out of the altar saying, Even so, Lord God, almighty, true, and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out of his vow upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over these plagues. And they repented, repented not to give him glory. Now, if the saints have already been gone, why would they have any reason to repent? Because, and then it goes on to say, look, when, when the children of Israel was in um, um, Egypt, God let out 10 plagues upon, you know, the, the boils. It's, and it's also, also going to show, say, that the boils were, um, and there is a grievous sore. All those who got the mark of the beast, will break out with this, this sword. So I don't know how the mark is going to be, you know, this control, whatever, but they're going to break out with some real bad contagious infection. But the children, the people who don't take the mark, they're going to be safe from that. But they're going to be safe from that when they receive the, the, the seal of God in their forehead where the angel came down and said, first, let me seal. This is what I'm going to do. You know, I guess I was just kind of anxious of, of getting this done i'm gonna have to go into all this revelation and gather all this stuff and put one with one because it's it's open it's scattering people don't bother they just leave it alone but anyway i'm just gonna break it like this um um the saints will be here during the tribulation because this is where you be tried and the bible says Many gonna wonder if they made it, but when they behold the beast, like okay, they're gonna wonder whose name was not written in the book of life. But anyway, the plagues is gonna be here. The sun is gonna be smitten where, like the day is, um, it's gonna be like, in the daytime it's gonna be half night. You know, it's not gonna give us full strength life. The saints is gonna be going through all this. They're not going to be, they'll be protected from the plague. That's God's wrath upon those who are disobedient. But then, once, immediately, immediately after the tribulation, as Jesus said out of his mouth, then the, the angels would gather the four winds and then gather the elect. Okay. Um, there's a space. I, I know Satan will be loose right now. He's um, working under you know and people calling up these these spirits but there are strong angels that are too too powerful right now i mean the in the bottomless pit is going to be open you know apollyon the chief demon and uh the demons torching him in and things like that it's just going to be you know and now the people going to fail you know and he said those who endure to the end but anyway um i tried no <laughs> oh anyway i just want to say that um you be going through that that's why he says it's going to be so bad that he has to shorten the days because if he doesn't shorten the days nobody will be saved that's how bad it's going to be but yes people are going to be killed and, and then um but when um and, and don't get me you know i don't know what the timing of um, after that, I know Jesus is going to come on the earth because Satan will be loose. But when Satan is loose, the saints is not going to be here because, um, <laughs> this sounds so confusing, but he's going to gather an army to fight against God, God's army. And it says, when that angel said, you know, uh, told, tell, tell, told the birds, gather yourself, because, you know, we're about to slug, people about to die. 
So when Jesus come back on his horse, he's going to cast out, he's going to throw the false prophet and the, de the devil in hell for in the lake of fire. And then he said he's going to kill the remnant with the sword of his mouth. They're all going to die who fights against, you know. So anyway, that's God's wrath. The plague is going to be poured out. You may not think so. You got to read it again. But um, I'm going to get it together. And um, I didn't know if it was going to be this difficult. Because, you know, when I was reading it, it was easy. You know, but then when you try to put it together and show them, like, oh, God, it sounds so confusing. Like, what is she talking about? No, it ain't what I'm talking about. It's what this is talking about. But it is confusing because everything is not in order. It's, in, it's not a sequence. One is at 10, and 10 is at 1, and 3, you know. Anyway, all right. But the main thing I just want to say, that the saints will be here on earth. And the plagues that, you know, the bulls and the sun scorching men. And, and they had space to ask for forgiveness, but they blasphemed God. And they did not repent of their sins. So, um, anyway. All right. Oh, my head is spinning. <laughs> oh, Jesus.